Welcome to our new video. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at 5 famous female serial killers who rocked criminal history. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel now to stay up to date with our latest videos. Number 5 Myra Hindley and Ian Brady were infamous British criminals, responsible for the Morse murders. Born in Manchester in 1942, Myra grew up in an abusive household. In 1961, she met Ian at work. Ian was an intelligent but antisocial person, with a fascination for Nazi ideology. Influenced by Ian, Myra became deeply involved in his plans. Between 1963 and 1965, the duo kidnapped, tortured, and murdered five young victims. Myra's role involved luring the victims and using her car for transportation. Their victims included Pauline Red, John Kilbride, Keith Bennett, Leslie Ann Downey, and Edward Evans. The turning point came in 1965 when David Smith, Myra's brother-in-law, witnessed Ian killing Edward Evans and reported the crime to the police. Myra and Ian were arrested and subsequently convicted in 1966, receiving life sentences for their brutal crimes. Number 4 Yuena Barraza was born on December 27, 1957, in Hidalgo, Mexico. She had a troubled childhood, marked by abuse and neglect. Her mother, an alcoholic, sold her to a man in exchange for three beers when she was young, leading to further trauma and instability in her life. Before her criminal activities, Yuena was known as a professional wrestler, adopting the ring name La Dama del Silencio, the Lady of Silence. Wrestling provided her with a sense of power and control that contrasted with her chaotic personal life. From the late 1990s to early 2000s, Yuena targeted elderly women, posing as a social worker to gain their trust before strangling them. She was responsible for the deaths of at least 42 women, earning her the nickname La Maravillitas in 2006. Yuena was caught fleeing the scene of her last murder. Her fingerprints matched those found at other crime scenes, leading to her arrest. In 2008, she was sentenced to 759 years in prison for her crimes. Number 3 Dagmar Overby was born on April 23, 1887, in Denmark. She had a difficult childhood filled with neglect and hardship which influenced her actions later in life. Dagmar operated a baby farming business, where she offered to care for infants born out of wedlock. From 1913 to 1920, she murdered at least 9, and possibly up to 25, infants entrusted to her care. She killed the babies by strangling, drowning, or burning them in her stove. In 1920, the disappearance of a baby led to an investigation that revealed Dagmar's horrific crimes. The mother of one of the missing infants grew suspicious when she could not find her child after leaving it with Dagmar. Her report to the police triggered an investigation, resulting in Dagmar's arrest. She was tried and, in 1921, sentenced to death, which was later changed to life imprisonment. Dagmar Overby remained in prison until her death in 1929. Number 2 Bel Gunness was born on November 11, 1859, in Selbu, Norway. She immigrated to the United States in 1881, seeking a better life. She eventually settled in Chicago and later in Laport, Indiana. Bell's criminal activities began with the mysterious deaths of her first two husbands, both of whom had substantial life insurance policies. She lured wealthy suitors to her farm for personal ads killed them and disposed of their bodies, often feeding them to her pigs. It is estimated that she murdered more than 40 people. In 1908, her farmhouse burned down, revealing multiple buried bodies. A hired hand, Ray Lamfer, was arrested for arson and suspected of being an accomplice. However, it was Bell's crimes that came to light. She was never arrested because she disappeared after the fire.
Number 1. Eileen Wuornos was born on February 29, 1956, in Rochester, Michigan. She had a tumultuous childhood marked by abuse and neglect. She was abandoned by her mother and raised by her grandparents, experiencing significant trauma. Eileen turned to prostitution at a young age. Between 1989 and 1990, she murdered seven men while working as a prostitute. She claimed the killings were in self-defense against clients who attempted to assault her. Her methods typically involved shooting her victims. In 1991, Eileen was arrested in a bar after being linked to the murders through forensic evidence. Her trial garnered massive media attention. In 1992, she was convicted of six murders and sentenced to death. Eileen Wuornos was executed by lethal injection on October 9, 2002, in Florida. Her life and crimes have been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and films, highlighting issues of mental health, abuse, and the criminal justice system.